Hey, welcome back to the channel. Let's do a lesson on Dave Mustaine's Tornado of Souls rhythm parts. Okay, so the way this all kicks off, it's in standard tuning E, A, D, G, B, E, and it starts on the B power chord. And then Dave starts pedaling on the uh, all down strokes on the natural harmonic on the seventh fret. But all these natural harmonics he plays here, you have to lightly palm mute. You can't let them ring out or they sound terrible. Don't choke it off too much or you'll just kill the... Just get the right amount of palm mute there and it... So the first time, this this is just an alternating riff played two different ways. The first one is... So hopefully you saw that, that's the first way he plays it. The second time around, he goes... Hopefully you saw that. And he just alternates those two parts until the actual intro lick kicks in. And so this intro lick, it's really just a... Uh, it's a B minor pentatonic pattern. All right, so it's not too hard a lick. It's a bit of legato, a bit of picking. It's it's it flows pretty naturally though. You just gotta. Uh, move your, your index finger to, to mute and change different strings. That's about the hardest part with this, but the easiest way to learn it is if we can do that. I come down heavy on that palm mute on the 10th, on that D. And I legato that. And that part, of, that's exactly the same for both variants of this. And then the last, the tail on the first part. Hopefully you can see that it's not too hard and it's just those two different shapes again. It's pretty melodic so you can, it's like it's memorable so it'll stay in your mind how to work it out. It's just a matter of when to uh, let the notes flow, when to break them and when, you know. And straight after you get around back to that uh, F there. It goes into the verse riff now. And this just starts in the D power chord. C. And then a series of hammer-ons and pull-offs. Hopefully you caught that. It's just a uh, seven eight, and then there five seven, three five, and then a palm mute power chord on the C, and then an open B. Then you're into the chugs. Now these whole chugs, the the actual chords and the the way that the it flows is a. Uh, Now 
Now, the way that's actually picked, so many, it's, it's, uh, there's no right or no wrong way to do this. It's just how you feel. Uh, on the record, I believe that the, it was all downstrokes. Um, apart from the chords, they're played, you strum up, and Dave likes to strum chords up because it lets the other notes ring out before the main root note sort of uh, overpowers the whole chord. Again, I think that the, uh, the main chords in this are all downpicked on the record, but in concerts, Dave, he's got a lot going on. He's singing. There's So I see he alternate picks the whole root. Uh, Marty, he downstroked and up picked it. Um, Kiko has changed the way he plays it. It's just evolved. He does half sort of down picks to keep it really sort of fierce. And then he uh, alternate picks. So th look, there's no wrong way to play that apart from playing the wrong chords. But as long as you're just keeping that same rhythm going. So the count's there. I'll just play it really slowly and hopefully you get that. So it's pretty fluent sort of riff. After after you play it a few times through, it makes sense when to change and and just sort of work through it um, as that riff sort of leads up to the chorus. He gets to the upstroke on the A. Right. So after that upstroke, it's a. Uh, that's the way I see Dave play that. Uh, on the upstroke on the A. If you can see from the F, it's, you're just sort of, you're just hitting the single uh, third fret on the sixth string. And then a slide up to the C from the B. And again with the upstroke on the A. Right, so when he hits the chorus here, he does a lot of sort of percussive hits between the notes. He's not actually palm muting or making the strings ring, it's just a percussive sort of slap. If you have that, you, you can hear the strings actually slap on the, uh, on the frets. So building up for the chorus. And then he goes into a series. That's just on the, what I've seen him do, it's just on the sixth string on the open. I'm sure you saw that. You can alternate pick that. I like to down pick it because it's a really a sort of aggressive part of the song. And then he goes into that dyad G shape sort of chord and you, if you have that chord, that's the like third second, but you slide up to the G and you just do that twice. And then he goes to the D and he slides from the third, uh, from the C to the D and with the D chord. So. To tail up the chorus riff and get back to the verse. And you're just mirroring what Dave is singing there. And then the second time it just goes straight back into the verse riff as per usual. 
Third time around, he gets to it. Hopefully you can see I'm adding those sort of percussive textures to that riff, which makes it really cool and it sounds really, uh, really much on point when he's playing it. There's no point uh, going through every single chord there. It's just power chords and you can see exactly how I was doing it. I'll just play it nice and slow once more. And then uh, Nick mends his drum roll and he gets into the... I'm noticing sometimes on that, uh, that opening riff as well as the riff right now. I'm actually slightly palm muting the, uh, the ninth and tenth there as I'm rolling through the... A different, he doesn't do it all the time, but he does do it in that part. So getting close to Marty's solo now, Dave goes down to that B riff. And that riff just keeps on cycling through. Marty does a harmony to that riff, which is just down one fret and exactly the same. And so as soon as Marty's solo kicks in, it's a cool chord progression and it starts on the B and goes down to the down to the G. Look, it's a great right hand warm up exercise just for getting down strokes with your picking. Hopefully you have that. It's not too hard. It's a cool riff. Uh, upstroke those, those notes in between. And then he goes into this riff. And I'm sure this riff has confused a lot of people with what he's actually hitting. Very cool riff. Uh, what he's actually al alternating through with the different sequences of chords and things, but it starts in the B. Hopefully you have that. It's like a B. And then you go and hit the F sharp. And then open, and you're just hitting the, the uh, D and G strings in like an A shape. And he changes to a G. And to the E. Hopefully you have that. The E is played the same as the B. You go from the E to the F sharp. So when it gets back to that A again. So really slowly, we'll just go through it.
So I just highlighted the main notes that's been hit there in the sequence. That's about the easiest way I can show you. It's uh, for this riff, getting near the end of the song after the last note and you land on the beat. You start this on the upstroke on the sixth string. It has to be on the upstroke, I've found, otherwise the riff just feels wrong. <laughs> And what is actually hitting now? Really slow now. And you notice toward the end of that riff, it changes up to the C instead of the B. And uh, pretty much that just sees the, that whole sequence out and it finishes up into the into the chords just to tie off the end of the song. So those chords, the way that it just finishes off the song, those percussive hits that he does earlier on. So that just sees out the song and uh, we're just running out of light here and the lighting in this room is so bad so I, I can't even record at night. So, so apart from working all day, I come home, upload a lesson, so really hope you enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up, help me out, and uh, hope you learned something. Cheers.